Greg's coming back now, and he's going to show you how we use GCP and Firebase together to really modernize corporate IT apps. Greg? Thanks, Brian. Brian told you we're going to take uh, an example of an existing on-prem application, and we're going to modernize it with Google Cloud. Now, in this case, the app that Chris and I are going to work with is an old ASP.NET application. Well, that's not an ASP.NET application. That's an ASP.NET application. This is an application used by uh, an insurance company. So the adjusters go out in the field, they take their digital camera, they take pictures of the accidents, they put it in their SD cards, and then they upload the images into the application. Um, it's also got an API on it so that you can manage all the images that are associated with a given claim. Now, we're going to start bringing this application out of the 90s and into the modern era. We're going to start by giving our agents a good mobile application so they don't have to lug a laptop around. Firebase makes that super easy. You can build a mobile application without having to be a back-end expert. In this case, what Chris is showing you is the line of code that integrates Firebase with cloud storage. So this line of code allows the camera to take a picture. That picture then automatically gets uploaded into a Google Cloud Storage bucket. So to show this is going to happen, Chris is going to take a quick photo with the phone. Yep. All right, everyone, say cheese. <laughs> I love having audiences do that. OK, so that photo now is being uploaded, and it's being stored into a Google Cloud Storage bucket. Now, to show that it really is not a GCS bucket, we're going to switch over, and we're going to list the contents of this bucket. Now, the Windows users among you are going to notice that he's using PowerShell. That's because he's using cloud tools for PowerShell. It gives Windows developers a first-class experience using Google Cloud Platform with the services that they love. And sure enough, there's the picture. It was just uploaded today. So now we've got a claim picture in GCS. How do we get it to this old legacy application? Apigee and Cloud Functions make that simple. The good news is our legacy app has an API, as I mentioned. The bad news is the app was written over a decade ago, so it's a SOAP API. So it's not really very friendly to a modern RESTful developer like Chris. Apigee, however, is an enterprise API management platform. And we're going to start by using it to create a proxy to convert this legacy SOAP XML into modern JSON. So here's the Apigee console. We've connected it to the, the WSDL of the service. I can't believe I'm saying that in 2017. <laughs> um, and on the left side, you see the SOAP XML. And on the right side, Apigee has automatically created a much friendlier, easier for the developer to use JSON version of it. Now, Apigee has a lot of other capabilities. So in addition to doing that, Chris has applied a quota so that we don't flood this poor service with millions of mobile agents all trying to upload photos at the same time. It automatically provides uh, throttling. We've also put authentication in so that only our agents and only those mobile applications can upload the data. Now, Fire, uh, Apigee's got tons more capabilities. I am only scratching the surface. But for our purposes, that's good enough for this application. So we got images in a GCS bucket. We got our application that's now got a nice modern API on it. How do we connect the two? Well, I could deploy a VM, but that's overkill, right? All I want to do is copy a little file from GCS to an API. Why should I pick an operating system and have to patch the OS and deploy a big, heavy VM image? Cloud Functions allows me to just write a snippet of JavaScript. This JavaScript is listening to that GCS bucket. So any time a file gets added, this snippet gets invoked. And if he goes down, you'll see he's using the post method, that nice RESTful interface, onto our web service. So now when Chris takes a picture, we should see the picture go all the way through. Now, I don't have a car crash on stage, Chris. I think you've got, though, some sort of a next best thing for us. Actually, uh, what I'm uh, prepared to do, Greg, is um, I've got some scale model uh, vehicle replicas here that I'm going to use to simulate a high-speed collision scenario. So this is scaled down in addition exactly to Exactly right. Yeah, very good. <clears throat> you ready? Yeah, go for it. <laughs> yeah. Please tell me you didn't misplace the phone. So he's going to take the picture of, oh, the humanity. 
then it gets uploaded, and now he's going to switch back to our application, our corporate app. He's going to hit F5, because it's the 90s, and we have to refresh. And there we go. There's our application. We started with a legacy on-prem app. We used Firebase to build a mobile application that didn't even require a back-end expert. We wrapped the old SOAP API in modern JSON, and Cloud Functions was this wonderful glue layer to connect everything together. But one more thing. This application started as an on-prem application, and we've wrapped it with all this amazing cloud stuff, but it's still sitting on-prem. Let's fix that bug, too. With just a couple clicks, Chris will start the, cloud, uh, the migration wizard, and in about 45 minutes, we will live migrate this running service into Google Cloud Platform, where it runs on Google's amazing infrastructure, network, operations, and reliability. And now we've really taken this app and brought it into the modern era.